Hey guys, so for my fit boxers out there, I know at home you're going stir crazy. I know you're missing our workouts, but don't fear. I'll be putting some workout sheets out for you guys to do at home. And I'll be putting some small videos out there just to give a little bit of motivation going. But I am going to give you a workout that you can do in the comfort of your own home that's going to give you one of the best all round fitness programs you can actually do. And all you need is a single deck of cards to do it. This is called the Carl Gotch Bible. It's named after a very famous catches catch can wrestler. So whilst this is for you fit boxing guys, everyone else, if you want to do this at any point, every other day, every day, twice a day, three I don't care, it's your workout, not mine. But this is a great way for you to stay in fighting shape with good conditioned muscles, not counterfeit muscles, we're not just bodybuilding for the sake of it. And you get your cardio and your strength and your endurance done in one great workout. The way it works is like this. Each time you draw a card, there's a certain assignation for each of the suits and for each of the things that go along with it. So what you can do if you want to do is you can assign different exercises to each one. So if you just want to do a core workout, every card is a core exercise. If you want to do arms, every card is an arm exercise. You can do that if you want. I recommend you don't because it's tiring enough as it is when you've actually got a nice mix and match of exercises. If you want to do all in one thing, go get to get crazy. But your choice, not mine. If we're doing it as it should be done, the card goes down and you include the jokers within it. You'll take one card and you'll turn it over and you'll put it down and you'll then do the exercises according to what that card happens to be. Now, it's very, very simple how it works. If I was to take this card, which is the King of Hearts, for example, that represents Hindu push-ups. If I was to take this card, the Ace of Spades, that's Hindu squats. If I'm to take this card, three of diamonds, that's half moon push-ups. If I take this one, which is a nine of clubs, that's jumper squats. The two jokers in this pack, they happen to be black and red respectively, which makes it useful, but it doesn't matter. The first time I draw a joker, that's 52 squats. The second time I draw a joker, that's 52 push-ups. Now, why is this workout as challenging as it is? Well, aside from anything else, you've got a lot of cards in that deck, so you're going to get a lot of workouts going in. But you don't know which order they're going to come in. So you can literally shuffle the deck, and as you're hitting it, you can go push up, push up, push up, push up, push up. So you literally can get this big run on upper body exercises. Now, that sucks in and of itself, but what makes it worse is inside you know damn well that as the workout progresses, you're going to get a lot of lower body exercises and the legs kicking your butt as you go along with it. It's very simple how it works. A two is two, three is three, four is four. So if you draw a two of hearts, you're gonna do two Hindu push-ups. If you draw a two of clubs, you're gonna do two jumper squats. If you draw a two of spades, two Hindu squats, and if you draw two of diamonds, two half moon push-ups. Three, four, five, all the way through. Picture cards are all 10, so a jack, a queen, a king, they're all 10. And if you draw an ace, that's 11. So each suit has two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 10, 10, 10, 11 for each individual exercise. You just don't know at what point they're coming along in that pack. So this is how you do it. You draw, you do the card, ba 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 bam okay, then you do the next card, ba 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 bam you do the next card, ba 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 bam Now if you've only got a short amount of time or you're just starting out on this, just shuffle the deck, draw 26, do half a deck. If you've got a lot of time on your hands, do the full deck. If you're in good shape already, do the deck, shuffle it, flip it, do it again. Carl Gotch used to do it twice. I can't do that, but hey, I'm not Carl Gotch. Um, but the, you can see very quickly how this can be from a challenging different workout each time. So while you're working your way through it, pay attention to the form and to the breathing, and you'll find that in about, I don't know, a week to two weeks, you can do the whole deck in about 15 to 20 minutes, sometimes half an hour, depending on how tired you are. The important thing is you keep going and you work through it. That's what the idea behind the workout is, so it gets easier the more you go along with it. So now I've introduced you to it, let's show you the individual exercises. So, first exercise is the good old Hindu push-up. Not a difficult exercise in principle, in practice it seems to give people a lot of issues. The easiest way I can describe it is you're a triangle with your bum in the air, all of a sudden you're flat, and then your bum goes back up. So if you think of your bum as a heartbeat, it's a good way to kind of get the visualization of what you're doing. The other way to think about it is a wave. So you have a constant wave 
and your motion of the ocean. So the easiest way to do this, get your feet about shoulder width apart, get down on the deck, hands about shoulder width apart as well. Now, if you've got a softer surface at home, grip it. If it's harder, just push in, get as much of a hold on it as you can. Legs a little further than shoulder width apart, get that butt nice and high in the air. Now, first move, my head goes down to the floor. Notice I'm paused in this position. Second move, chest goes flat straight here. Third move, back into my heels and look between my legs. One more time. I go down, look at my butt still in the air. I go flat, my butt goes back up and I look between my legs. This ensures that you get a good workout throughout. Now this is the cadence you really should want to be trying to do the map. So as you can see, you get a steady routine and a steady rhythm. Breathe out as you're going through, in on the way back. So out on the way through, in on the way back. Now that's the classical version as taught within a JKD system. Wrestlers, the catch wrestlers, sometimes use a variation on it, which is the full dip through. Try both, see which one you prefer. There's rationales and reasons behind both of them. Uh, I will mix some match according to my workout, but I'll show you the wrestlers version. So this is the one we just done. Okay, this is the wrestlers version. Okay, starts the same. One, two, all the way through this one, and then back. So, one, two, back. So as you can see, a couple of variations on an exercise for you to try with. Find out which one works best for you. Next exercise, the Hindu squat, okay? Now this one, again, there are a million one variations on it. This is the one I advocate and prefer. You get a good pump from it, you get a good uh, workout for the legs, but you don't overstrain the knees, you don't injure yourself. So it's an easy one to modify if you've got any injuries or knee problems or ankle problems. So, we start from here, again, feet shoulder width apart. Hands are out in front. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my hands in to my chest, and then they're gonna go down. As I do that, it's like I'm doing a little ski jump almost. The back is straight, my knees aren't going over my toes, so I'm going too far, feet flat on the floor, and out. I come back up, out, out, okay? A squat is not this, or the one you see in gyms, people doing this, just going up and down. It's that cycle and it's that circle and that rhythm again. So as I'm here, so the cadence again, you want to be aiming for this. That kind of rhythm, that kind of pacing. If you've got injuries or your knees are hurting, this is fine. A little dip. If this is as far as you can go, that's fine. Build up, get the leg strength, get the joints going. A little further. And finally, all the way, you can get a good stress on. That's the basic Hindu squat. Now, there is the wrestler's version I'll share with you again. From here, start out, starts the same, sets the same goes down the same, but there's a difference. I go here, heels come up, and notice how it's like I'm scraping the ground, I'm off on my heels, and then back all the way up. It's a much fuller squat. If I go more here, you can see the difference. This is the first one. This is the wrestler's version. Again, just hits different muscles in the legs. Breathing is the same for both variations on it, okay? So I'm here. Out through the mouth, in through the nose. The wrestler's version. 
same thing. Okay? That's your Hindu squat. Okay, next exercise, everybody's favorite, the half moon push-up. Now, you can substitute regular push-ups for this if you wish, no problem. But the half moon is its own animal. Now, it's a bit of an ass, but it's a very, very good workout. Start like a regular push-up position. So I'm on the mat here, regular push-up. The difference is I curl back into my heel and out and then back into my heel and back. Notice I'm not rising, okay? So it's not a case of just doing a push-up and kind of putting your butt back into your heels. The idea is I'm curling as low as I can keep my body back into my heels at each time, okay? So as I'm here, half moon one, Okay. Now, the joy of half moons is you have to go to each side. So, is one. It's not one, two. Okay, half moons, one, two. So one rep on a half moon. From here, push your position. One, that's a half moon. So that's the half moon push up. Breathing again, you'll notice. Out. Think of the lungs expanding. If I'm down here, curled into myself, so if I go down here to breathe in, my lungs are already in a contracted position. And they can fill as we're coming on the way out. That's the half moon. Final one, the jumper squats. For those of you who do the fit boxing classes, you'll recognize these as kind of like sumo squats, but without the stick. If you have any injuries, knee problems, back problems, anything like that, substitute regular squats for these, regular Hindu squats. These are really good for both the lungs and for the legs, but they can put a lot more wear and tear on the body than the other ones do. So, as I'm here, I start in the squat position, in the standing position, I jump forward. Now it doesn't have to be much, about 18 inches if that. If you want to start on a line, it's easier because you can come back to the line. In reality, it doesn't make a lot of difference because you're just getting a jump workout anyway. So I start. Forward into the squat. One. Out. Two. So you see you're getting that plyometric load in as well. As I jump, out, in. So you get that lovely hoppy jumpy burn workout at the same time. That's all your exercises, kids. So you got the Bible, the cards, and the exercises. I recommend twice a week to start. If you're comfortable, every other day. Trust me, in two weeks, you'll be doing wonders.